now that we have our arms built, we're going to go ahead and install them onto the lower front A arms. If you take a look at the lower front A arms, I'll hold it up to the camera here, you're going to see that there is a hole in about the center of the A arm. See if we can get some light on it here, right here. And this is on the back of the A arm. There is also a hole in the front of the A arm, but we're going to install these onto the back of the A arm. It's going to be a little bit difficult to see what I'm doing here. However, I'll try to talk you through it. It's not difficult. I'm going to use a little box that I have, and I'm going to set the chassis up on a box just so it's a lot easier at the angle to get my wrench in. If you take a look again at your two arms that you've built, they remember, if you'll remember, they're at a 45 degree angle. So let's go ahead and hold those up and hold the flat part back, and you'll see that one that points in this way and the other points in this way. We're going to want to put them onto our, just like that. The one on the right hand side is going to point in towards the center of the chassis and the one on the left hand side is tilted so it points towards the center line on the chassis. So from the outside, looking from the front, they're going to uh, be tilted in. So make sure you put the right one on the proper side. If you're following along with the directions, the directions are showing us to put the ball studs on first. However, with previous experience building this, we have found that once you get the ball screwed onto the inside of the A-arm, that there's not enough clearance to press this ball end onto it um, while it's installed. So if you have been following along with the directions literally, you are going to have to take these off, pop them into the arms, and then mount them back up again. Okay, so these are going to be mounted onto the inside portion of the A-arm. And again, it's very difficult to try to get a, a good angle for you to see here. However, the screws that we're going to use are going to go in from the back. I need to find uh, where I placed my screws. They're hiding under the chassis here. I'm going to put a little bit of Loctite gel on the screw. And we're going to insert the screw from the rear as to where it goes through the chassis. And then we're going to grab the proper arm and we're going to mount that in just like so. In a, it's a little bit tough of a spot, especially when I'm trying to do it for the camera here. And I can't find the proper hand angle to keep my head out of the camera and uh, keep everything in in focus here. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and start screwing that in. And it's only going to go in so far and then it starts twisting so I'm going to grab a pair of needle nose pliers and I'm going to hold on to the hex portion of the ball and go ahead and screw this in and tighten it up. Um, it does have Loctite on it. It is metal to metal connection so you're going to want to screw it in and you're going to want to make sure that it's snug but don't over tighten it um, until it strips. Uh, again, it's, it just needs to be snug. A little bit of a difficult position here for the camera, but we're getting it. There we go. It's all nice and snug. And we're going to go ahead and repeat this process on the second side. I'm going to go ahead and hold this up so you can see how it's in there. Again, we've put it in just like so and you'll see that when it's mounted up that the larger of the ball ends is to the top and it is facing to the center, it's angled to the center of the chassis. Let's go ahead and repeat this on the other side and that's going to finish up with page number 22 on the tutorial.